Another Maryland judge has ruled that the state's Child Victims Act is constitutional. That's the law passed last year that allows survivors of child sex abuse to sue their predators and institutions that enabled them, no matter when the abuse occurred. So far, at least two defendants have tried to have their civil suits dismissed by questioning if the law itself is constitutional. Investigative reporter Tracy Wilkins and the News 4i team have been tracking challenges to this law. Tracy joins us now with what happened in the latest case. In this latest case, a man is suing the Harper County Board of Education for abuse he says he endured as a child in its schools. In response, the school board not only challenged the constitutionality of the law, but argued the survivor himself had some responsibility for what he alleges happened. Each one of these challenges is critical because if one succeeds, it could jeopardize the future of the Child Victims Act. It was the most difficult years of my life. This man, identified as John Doe in court documents, alleges he was abused by two different employees of Harford County Schools, first by a teacher at Deerfield Elementary in the 80s, and later by an employee at Edgewood High School. The damage thrust upon me by my offenders is a life sentence. It will never go away. In his suit, he says the school system was negligent in preventing or addressing the abuse and is therefore liable. He's suing under Maryland's 2023 Child Victims Act. This law now allows me to proceed forward seeking justice. This week, attorneys for the school board argue that law is unconstitutional, saying the board is protected from these claims by prior statute of limitations. In their motion to dismiss, they also argued the man had some responsibility for the alleged abuse he endured as a teenager, writing, the complaint reveals the plaintiff had numerous opportunities to extricate himself and yet chose not to do so. He can hardly now blame the board and its employees for his choices. They continued, the board respectfully submits that an ordinarily prudent minor of that age knows or should know that repeatedly engaging in sexual conduct with an adult carries certain risks and consequences. It shows how out of touch they are with true victims that they do not understand the sexual abuse that has occurred in the mental um, health aspect to that. In response, attorneys for John Doe wrote, to suggest that a child can consent to his sexual abuse is morally outrageous and legally meritless. Just weeks ago, a Prince George's County Circuit Court judge dismissed a similar challenge brought by the Archdiocese of Washington. In that case, three men are suing the church for abuse they say they endured as children. Doe's attorney, Aaron Blank said people across the nation are paying close attention to how these challenges and civil suits unfold. One great thing about attorneys who represent um, survivors of abuse is that we, we work together. Um, we see a bigger picture here. A spokesperson for the Hartford School System declined our request for comment on the lawsuit, though they're expected to appeal the judge's decision. Experts tell us it's likely the Maryland Supreme Court will eventually decide the constitutionality of the Child Victims Act. We will continue to follow these challenges and lawsuits as they unfold. Tracy Wilkins, News for I-Team.